Beep, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Louis Marco. We're back to geek out a bit. Uh, we are in the middle of it all. It's still not over yet. I mean, Miss Olympia will be concluded tonight, finally at 10 uh, p.m., right? And mo we will not have most of the things we've seen yesterday, like, you know, the bikini, uh, the fitness uh, figure that will be uh, pretty much mainly just bodybuilding, probably some awards. I don't know where when they will give the awards of um, the classic physique as an example but it shouldn't be uh, that long until then uh, let's see what's happening uh, our good friend uh, kai reed posted this with quite a lengthy text if you ask me but then again uh, shakespeare does uh, occur does happen now this picture supposedly is from last year's 2015 mr olympia prep he was this good, supposedly, but he didn't show up, as you guys uh, remember. Uh, nonsense. I mean, yes. Hell yeah, of course. I mean, should I repeat it like a thousand times? Phil Heath, last week, actually, told me, bro, humbly, yes, I think that my biggest challenge, my, I mean, my, not my old biggest challenge, my current biggest challenge is still Kai Green, very humbly. This is coming from Mr. Olympia, you know, the, the one who is tagged being cocky, being arrogant, straight up in your face. He was honest enough to say that this guy is his main competition for real. And uh, uh, for me, it's undeniable. Look at this. I mean, just it is just frightening. It is just uh, frightening. I suppose he was like this last year, but then he didn't show up for whatever reason. Anyway, uh, the, the Shakespearean text in question goes and says, Not going to lie. There is a part of me that does miss being on stage, but then there is another part of me that edges towards limitless possibilities, baby, please, for us all. Okay. Uh, I mean, aware me. I, mean, I, I know I'm too slow because I didn't sleep yesterday, but if you comprehend uh, in a thousand years, write me a message. Uh, the entire industry, this movement is bigger than just me. I want the entire world uh, to know the meaning of just how beautiful bodybuilding is. All I have seen uh, teaches me to trust the creator for all I have not seen. Wishing every one of my friends attending and competing tonight a very, I mean, the very best. Image is from last year's Olympia prep, uh, which he did not attend. So I'll leave it at that. But that, that being said, Kai it is he is one of the greatest in our era it's still a shame not seeing him uh doing battle versus uh this guy so this was uh pretty much yesterday pre prejudging so before the prejudging let's take a listen to what phil heath was uh was saying actually it was very depleted right phil how are you feeling uh, i'm tired just weird and dangerous Farinos was saying that she thinks this is the calmest she's ever seen you, you and Hani. Yeah. Normally we're like very, very intense and scatterbrained. But I think we both realize that this isn't our first rodeo and knowing who we are, he's the best trainer in the world and I'm the best bodybuilder. And this is like his lifelong dream as a coach, you know, to, to have these moments, you know, in time to be able to say, look what I was able to help someone do. I was able to help someone achieve their dream and that's what's really neat about Hani is that he's here to help me achieve my dream but that's not going to happen tonight I'm going to peak <laughs> so it's going to be very very special I'm going to save that shit for when I walk out of this room start getting my, my you know myself motivated and uh, that's that Phil how you feeling? so that's what's up talking about his team um, him and Hani Rambod Henry Rambad is by far the best guru. He's not quite outspoken, he's quite humble, he stays in the background, but when he speaks, he speaks volume, he's very serious. And he means business, he is a businessman as I see him, right? He loves supercars, just like Phil Heath, and believe me, it is a consuming passion. Uh, he has objectives in life, he needs to move forward, he has a, you know, a growing company, uh, uh, evil gen, so, you know, uh, they're the best team, best teammates in the world, and they proved it. And for the record, yesterday, as far as I see it, I'm not killing the suspense, but in my book, Phil Heath closed the door quite significantly yesterday. I don't know what the other guys are saying. Some are saying, bro, like, I don't know, like Sean Roden is, is pushing 
feel heat. I mean, come on, come on. It was lights out yesterday. <laughs> it was quite convincing. Even, you know, I mean, newbies can notice that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, salute to one of you guys. Absolutely proper. Lee, his name is Tattoos by Angelo. Watching the LUI on a huge uh, screen. Proper uh, Lee uh, executed. Uh, all right. Uh, we have Mr. Arash Rehbar. Right, this is my friend. Uh, sent me a picture as soon as uh, the latest one was like four hours ago. Let's see his performance. We're gonna remove the music. It's not quite clear though, but let's take a look at him real quick. If the player um, complies. Now this guy is a favorite, right? He won the New York Pro. There we go. So this is a classic physique for the underwear. These guys are allowed to do a lot of posing, not like uh, the physique guys who basically uh, is pretty much a pageant in a sense. So they pose properly, they showcase their features and they have some poses who, that, that do not exist actually in bodybuilding. Like that famous pose of Sergio Oliva, uh, the inverse like crucifix with the hands up in a sense. So everything is inspired by you know Frank Zane of old. Take it all the way through Lee Labrada and Francis uh, Benfato. This classic kind of small uh, guy, proper Lee displayed. Thirty-five years old, living in New York City, training at Bev's Eastern Mecca Gym. Uh, I've seen actually the guy who came uh, after him. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage. I'm talking about my, my other friend, Ruff Diesel, 22 year old, man, <laughs> this guy is good too, this guy is good too, really good, I mean young, but the potential is just limitless, a lot of gurus contact me and tell me, bro, hook me up with them, I told them, he told me, listen, uh, right now, I'm still a military personnel, he told me, bro, I merely had a month, really, to prepare for the show, but he brought it, he was just, just uh, good, talking about prospects, though, these two guys, uh, my friend Nathan Diasha and Dallas McCarver. So I mean this, I really mean it. I smell Sandow's um, quite soon. I mean, these guys are almost perfect. Uh, they have their features, their strength, like the lat spread here. Obviously, I have Nathan uh, in front. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, Dallas, that back will grow, will grow, naturally grow. It's already thick. It has some crazy features, the, the, the Christmas tree there is big 290 uh, come on so he is an absolutely proper uh, salute right this is what nathan just told me let me see all right nathan they are the random thing there we go so he told me two kind uh, brother respect um, the love right told him bro listen i'm not sugar coating it you are not out of the oven as of yet but sandow is up there in the horizon both of you guys are the best prospect to get it. So I'm quite honest. They're the two top prospects. And yesterday, they went ahead of, of Compton. I mean, they, uh, they had a lead on Compton, right? So Compton is dragging a bit compared to these uh, two guys. What else do we have? Uh, we have an old-timer coming from... I didn't even know he had, uh, he had an Instagram. So this is a repost from Vince Taylor, right? He posted this, so let's go to his account to see what he has posted, right? So this is Vince Taylor, just to remind you who he is. This is him right now. He's still looking good. I mean, he must be in his 60s, maybe please by now. Uh, still lifting weights. So all you guys, old timers, must remember this guy. He has still one of the craziest, uh, you know, biceps I've ever seen. I'll show you a shot that he posted lately. There we go. Look at that peak. Look what he said, bro. I mean, he's I mean, he, crazy balls. He said, bro, man, power balls time, losing inches. So he's starting like, to get all that he's starting to lose inches. If you ask me, they're still looking big. Back back in the day, in the 90s, they used to have some categories, like the most muscular guy, the best legs, best this, best that. And he was within always the best arms in the business. In front of uh, Nasser El Sambari, Kevin Lavroni, uh, Sean Ray and so on and so forth. Now this guy, even back in the day, he was considered an old timer. Hell, he was an old guy even in Lee Haney's era. So this guy is like uh, a Dexter Jackson in a sense. I mean, he lasted a long time. And he posted this picture right now, like an hour ago. Look what he said. 
uh, have been asked many times today what is my 50 year old plus version comeback looked like versus Kevin and he did this photo collage yeah of course he looked better than what we saw yesterday uh, from Kevin Lavroni um, is it good to post it today with all these um, emotions with all this you know passion around Kevin Lavroni I think it's a little bit uncalled for I don't know what, I don't know what you think guys but I think it's uncalled for you know I respect these guys are like legends both of them are legends if you guys forgot about Vince Taylor you're not saluted so he is a legend in his own right but I think it's not time just to post this picture yes you were better uh, the thing is Vince you never stopped training never ever ever you never stopped training so when when you are always on 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 the train uh, going to the gym and hitting it uh, always on the vitamins bro uh, gains will stay loyal right they say more loyal now Kevin was off completely 13 years and he came back for a month so he did not acquire what what you had you you were you were merely maintaining all right now for the record a lot of people mentioned even myself mentioned him as an example because uh, admittedly at the end of his career uh, his legs became less loyal right I mean compared to the upper body we're talking about the best arms crazy arms in his in his in his era as a matter of fact he became bigger when he came when he was older uh, from the top meaning his arms became outrageous in the during his era versus when he was small doing paddle versus uh, Lee Labrada uh, Mike Ashley Mike Christian uh, Lee Haney and so on and so forth Richard Gaspari I mean because the guys were small there they were leading they're being led by Lee Haney who was not a mass monster all right but when uh, Dorian Yates came in it was outrageous I mean it was a, a, a mass gain in Bonanza and this guy was on that bandwagon so that's what's up uh, this is what is happening I think it's just uncalled for uh, let's respect Kevin for what uh, he is and uh, that's what's up so yeah uh, he is I don't know what's the aim of this picture maybe he he wants to say that I am still like the best person ever uh, over 50 uh, I had like the best physique over 50 ever that is up to you guys uh, you be uh, the judge uh, um, he is an ex Miss Olympia uh, by the way there was a category back in the day Masters Olympia right and he was always a top four I mean in Lee Haney era I think he was top four right so he is a, uh, a legend in his own right as well so that is what's up salute you whatever you is do we have something else in my social media yes we do properly executed <laughs> so this is uh, Phil Heath actually gathering some energies baby please before hitting that pose Dragon Ball Z style to be more precise Frieza style do you think it is just a coincidence I don't think so I mean he confessed <laughs> that he watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z actually um, ad admittedly in his prep I'm talking about balls I mean Dragon Balls <laughs> the guy has balls <laughs> everywhere he's just ballsy roundness uh, balloons over balloons over balloons I mean he looks like this guy on uh, creatine right that's what's up salute you whatever you is don't forget to like the video and tell me what you guys uh, think about it. oh boy uh, before I you go I almost forgot my games are not loyal I'm, I'm so slow I need some caffeine bro uh, yeah let me go back real quick to what where we spoke about uh, lengthily actually this morning uh, about this version of um, of um, actually uh, Big Ramy and uh, last year version the one I preferred right now of course we all agreed even me I agreed back in the day that that he should be more conditioned but that does not mean <laughs> losing the games right I mean grow keep, keep, be what you are and condition more I mean uh, losing like freaking 40 or 45 even 50 pounds just nonsensical I mean do you even Lord of the Rings who you even Lord of the Rings if you have been created an orc why on earth would you want to be a hobbit hobbits don't even lift bro right so go in this I think it's just too much right uh, uh, listen I know this guy I know his team and whatever so what I'm saying this I'm not just speaking like that right I think it's not the right path uh, he was happier he was looking dominant even the poses look at him he was like imposing I'm here I'm I'm, I'm, I'm controlling uh, this is mine in a sense I'm, this is my home turf <laughs> so he's he's a mass monster I think he should play that game and polish the package keep whatever you have gained bro these games are loyal just polish them and condition them you cannot tell me this bicep this huge 
muscular development in the legs is just water retention, just water or fat. No, that's pure muscle. That's a testament. That left bicep pretty much uh, this year uh, melted. Look at that. I mean, it looks small, right? Play, uh, play your game of math. That's the way to go, in my humble opinion, of, of Big Grammy, right? The thing is, he is in Kuwait uh, with the camel crew, in a sense, right? Uh, the other guys, everybody else, I mean, Nathan, Diasha, Rudy Winkler, these guys go both to the walls when it comes to the mass. They bring what they have and they're solid, right? That's what's I think he should follow that path. And this guy still has the proper uh, potential. I say this because I love Big Ramy. Uh, I know he's a gentle giant. I just think that this recipe is definitely not a recipe for him to win. Hence, he tried it uh, this year. He will not be Mr. Olympia. I still think he will probably play swell. So I think from four to six tonight, number four, five, six. But that's in my book is not a major achievement. I mean, he is in, in in those waters since ever. Last year he was fifth, right? And believe me, in my reckoning, if he brought this, and just be my guess, I mean, I'm gonna ask you a question: Do you think if he brought this exact shape, not even more condition, the exact one, this this package right here, this package right here, don't you think that he would have been battling? for number two or three, especially that Dexter Jackson is not strong tonight. Dexter Jackson is not strong this year, right? Probably uh, Sean Roden will beat him. And Sean Roden was beaten by this version of, of Big Ramy. So do the math. Big Ramy could have been second tonight. I still think he's not sharp enough to do battle versus, uh, versus uh, Phil Heath, but he would have been second tonight versus what he will be tonight, something between four up to six. I hope it's not less than six. That's what's up. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what you guys think about and stay tuned. Of course, we're going to come back to wrap this up, right? Uh, when the finals uh, will be done, LUI will be on top of the game. Salute you wherever you is. And that was on an afternoonly uh, basis, uh, baby, please. That's what time it is. Properly executed.